What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and today I'm going to be making my predictions for the Super Smash Bros. 5 character roster. So first I'm going to go through Super Smash Bros. 4's roster, and say who I think is getting cut. Then I'll go through fighters who I think are going to return from Brawl or Melee, and then I'll go through newcomers. Alright, so for Smash 4's roster, I don't think anyone in the top row is going. I think Mario's still going to be there, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, Rosalina, and Luma, Bowser Jr., Wario, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Mr. Game & Watch, Little Mac, I think they're all going to come back. And for the second row, it's pretty similar. All except one, though. We have Link, Zelda, Sheik, Ganondorf, Toon Link, Samus, Zero Suit, Samus, Pit, Palutena, Marth. Ike is definitely coming back, considering his popularity in the Fire Emblem Heroes polls. Um, but I think Robin is getting cut. As unique as Robin was compared to the other Fire Emblem characters, I do think Lucina is going to be the Awakening character to return, simply due to her popularity. Robin will likely be replaced by whatever avatar or protagonist stars in the next Fire Emblem game. For row number three though, I think Duck Hunt is getting cut. I mean, he was obviously thrown in there as a joke, and he seems like an odd character, but... Not quite on the levels of Rob, Mr. Game & Watch, or Wii Fit Trainer. He was just an old retro game from the NES days, and we already have plenty of fighters who represent that. As for the rest of the third row, though, we have Kirby, King Dedede, Meta Knight, Fox, Falco, Pikachu. I think Charizard is going to be replaced with the return of the Pokemon Trainer. Lucario, Jigglypuff, and I think Greninja is getting cut. I know Greninja's pretty popular, but that was only because of Smash. He was put in the game before his name was even decided. So he didn't get in for being popular, he got in for being one of the most recent Pokémon, which I think he'll be replaced by an even newer one in this next installment. As for the fourth row though, we've got Rob, Ness, Captain Falcon, Villager, Captain Olimar, Wii Fit Trainer. I do think Shulk is going to come back, because I know Pyra and Mithra, whatever, but they're probably going to get added in alongside Shulk. So I think Shulk is definitely coming back just to represent the start of Xenoblade. I think Dr. Mario and Dark Pit are getting cut because they only got in the last game because of pure luck. The developers just had some extra time and whatnot. I already explained how I think Lucina is coming back. And I think Pac-Man's going to return, especially if Bandai Namco comes back to work on this one. And now on to row 5. Mega Man, Sonic, Mewtwo is definitely coming back because of the huge riot for him. Lucas, Roy is definitely coming back because of all the requests, just like Mewtwo. I think Ryu is coming back if Mega Man comes back. I do think if any third party character is getting cut though, it's definitely Cloud. I don't know how he got in, it was just some magical once in a blue moon occurrence. I don't think he's making it into Smash 5. And for Korn, I definitely think Korn's getting replaced. Korn wasn't that popular and they'll likely get replaced by, um, the next Fire Emblem protagonist. And Bayonetta, I think, is definitely coming back. I mean, after all she did win the Smash Ballad, showing that people really did want her, and because of Platinum's very good relationship with Nintendo and Bayonetta 3 coming to the Switch, I think she's pretty much guaranteed to come back. And of course, the Mii Fighters are gonna come back too, as long as custom moves are a thing again. As for returning fighters, I think Wolf is guaranteed due to all the requests and the fact that he's not exactly a clone, and then Ice Climbers are definitely coming back. They only didn't make it to Smash 4 because of 3DS's hardware limitations. And we already know the Inklings are going to be newcomers, making the total roster I have contain 52 characters. A little bit less than Smash 4, but now for the newcomers I think are going to make it in. First, I think Sakurai is going to implement the characters that were cut from Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. This includes a Rhythm Heaven character, which everyone says is Chorus Kids, so I guess I'll include them. Then there's Takamaru, who was an assist trophy in the previous game, but just like Little Mac, he could graduate to a fully playable character. And then the one I'm most excited for, Heihachi Mishima. He had his own Mii costume in Smash 4, Bandai Namco helped develop the game, and he was planned to actually be in it as a playable character, but Sakurai couldn't come up with a moveset that would work. Yeah, the man who came up with a moveset for Little Mac, who only punches, couldn't think of a moveset for Heihachi Mishima. I can think of a moveset for Heihachi Mishima. But perhaps by Smash 5, he may have thought of something and is able to put Heihachi Mishima into the game. Or if not, some other Tekken character. My choice would be Jin, with all of his demon powers and devil gene stuff. He'd make a perfect character. He's not just some standard martial artist. But either way, I'm just gonna list Heihachi Mishima here. Now for true newcomers, I think characters from ARMS are going to come, likely Springman and Ribbon Girl as alternate costumes to represent the Nintendo Switch. I think Pyra and Mithra are coming to represent Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and get Xenoblade some more representatives, and because they're highly requested. And I think three old school Nintendo characters are finally going to get their time to shine. Waluigi, as much as I'm not really into it, I do think he'll make it in this time. Um, Impa and King K. Rool. Now. 
I do think Rayman will be getting in this time. What with him having a trophy in the previous game, ooh, what a tease! Ubisoft's relationship with Nintendo regarding Rayman and the definitive edition of Rayman Legends being exclusive to the Switch, and the whole hype surrounding him with the artsy Omni leak. I think Crash is coming due to the massive mark he left in video game history, and him coming to the Nintendo Switch with the Insane Trilogy. Chibi Robo may be coming due to all the requests and the little hints Nintendo has dropped. I do think Banjo and Kazooie are getting in this time, due to all the requests for them, and Microsoft expressing that they want him in, and that they've had no problem with Nintendo and their IPs before. Now, Sakurai doesn't seem too fond of indie characters, they typically have their own little following, and don't really make a MASSIVE impact on the gaming community. They just have a very loud minority, and that's about it. But Shovel Knight, on the other hand, has had a great relationship with Nintendo, all the amiibo he's gotten, and I definitely think he's the indie character that deserves to be in Super Smash Bros. the most. I'm sorry Shantae fans, I would love Shantae way more than Shovel Knight, but I do think Shovel Knight is the one that's likely going to get in. And during the production of this video, I changed my mind on Robin. I think he's too much of a unique character for Fire Emblem for Sakurai to want to cut them completely, so I think they'll either still be in it from the start or be added as DLC later on. So yeah, I think Robin, he'll still make it in. This makes my total roster 67 characters, about 10 more than Smash 4. But honestly, on a next-gen console without a handheld version holding it back, I think he can add even more. Because think about it, Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Wii had 35 characters, and then Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS added over 20 more characters. And that was even with the 3DS's hardware limiting it, like with the Ice Climbers being cut. So just imagine the number of characters Sakurai could reach on this brand new next-gen system without a 3DS version holding it back. But anyways, this is the Smash 5 roster that I think is going to be in the final game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Leopold the Brave, out.